transport fever and I have Mori 17 and you see we've actually connected the large uh, network here got everything connected as you can see when we turn on the thing here uh, the track going this way will accompany or this this track and this track and the ones that are going that way will be on this track and this track so they can come in and go and come in and go and never the two shall meet no interruptions no problems uh, over here I have because I had no more terminals I stuck one here one here one going the other way one going the other so this looks like a proper uh, fancy looking I don't know train area thing uh, the boats are doing actually pretty darn good look at here I've got two the two boats are up to 58 passengers now uh, we're still not turning a profit but we're not doing bad we're down to 5.5 million uh, on our loan and we've got 4.65 sitting in the bank 4.82 uh, because I'm going to work on making this happen now remember I was going to talk about okay I was going to build a station here have it wrap around go up this is close enough I don't have to do that so I'm going to use the outer track so this far one turn go up we're gonna go up here stall a station then have it turn and come back down and that's gonna be the loop for the yes and then maybe I, should, I don't know yeah since that's gonna be the shorter one the inner loop then can go just outside of it has to cross it right Let's see. The other loop will be going this way. So inner track. This one's going to be coming right about here to reconnect. This one can go up, grab fuel, uh, crude oil, grab fuel, turn around, come back, and then just enter the station. Or come around here and make the U-turn and come in. I don't know. That's going to be tough. That means that would need to be on this. Either way, it's going to cross over at some point. That's going to be my issue. At some point, it's going to cross over. So let's think about it. This outer one can go up this way, back down. And no matter what, it's going to cross right here, no matter what. Unless this one simply just comes back into the station. And we just have a, a loop thing right here. And then that one's a loop. That way, if I need to, I could maybe do something else on this end. Like, I have a quarry here, and I could do stone. A building block, to me. And have that come in on that line as well. So I think I'll do that. I think I'll have this outer line go out, up, circle, reconnect. Almost like a loop on a... Uh, uh, almost like a loop on a... a model railroad kit something like that uh, look at the so you look at last year I spent some money building this stuff and other things and so forth so on at 11.5 5.44 that's huge profits we're, we're just swimming in the money right now so um, yeah let's go since this is close enough for this I'm going to use this outer line up along the road hit that make the u-turn and come back so let's let's go ahead and do that okay yeah this is where uh, some people do your montage and, uh, not a bad idea I'm not a montage guy I'm more of a hey let's do it guy all right here we go so only 43 coming out that's fine I mean turns are just the way it goes let's bulldoze this we want to go right around this this thing, so uh, there we go. And let's reinstall the road before I forget. Beautiful. Up and over my rail, not the other way around. Yes, I know I'm not doing high-speed rail. Not quite time for that yet. And I think I want to get... I think. Let's take a look. Topographical. No, I'm okay if I stay on this side. No, I'm going to want to be on the other side of the road. Yeah, so I'll cross the road up here. So let's just go next to it. Uh, no, I don't want to stick to it. There we go. No, I don't want to do that. There we go. 
Alright, then we'll just bulldoze that. And go across. No. Bulldoze that. There we go, we'll just cross. No, I don't want you to stick to it, thank you very much. That'll work right there. And then we'll get you to turn a little bit. About there. Alright, let's look at the station. Freight station, it's going to be a through station, it's going to be one, it's going to be 320, and get this thing turned around, we're going to want it about right there, uh, go back just a tiny bit that way, there we go, yeah, about right there, right, okay, and then we need a road, voila, and then we need to connect this road, here. Perfect. That is one big crossing. <laughs> very, very weird looking crossing. Okay. Um, how much of this can I build those? That much? Yep. Okay. So we'll go back to this. And let's just connect it and see what it does. That's not too bad. You drop down to 57 there in that curve. It's just the way it goes. Okay. So I'm going to curve this. A fairly good sized curve going this way. And let's just, you know, hey, you're connected, right? Yep, okay, just making sure. Alright, so we're going to get up here. We want to go right back down. Let's remind ourselves. Coming down here, connecting. So we're going to go right through the middle there. Yep. Okay, and we want to keep some decent speed, so I don't want to go too slow. Now the logic is to have it turn around and go back. I don't want it to go back. It probably will go back anyways, but I'll use a waypoint to make it go this way. You say, bam, that's going to take longer. It is, you know, think about that. If it just runs up, no, yeah. If it just runs up here and then runs back, it would have been made, made more sense to just come this way. But, you know, I don't know. I want it to loop because if I have two on there, I don't have to have passing sightings. That's why I wanted to do it this way, yeah. I have to just put a, uh, you know, waypoint. Hey, this is what you're doing. Just deal with it. I'm going to want to go just a little bit more left than what I'm doing right now. Okay, and let's bulldoze this and this. And we'll cut through here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that back because I think, I don't think I'm coming back through here for the other one. Okie dokie. And go this way. A little bit of cut through there, I didn't see. Then no topical of it, but there it is anyways. Alright, we are doing the outside track. So let's have this thing go ahead and curve. Whoa. How about we don't uh, quite do that? Alright, I'll just have this curve some here. There we go. Some more curb there. There we go. We're not digging in the ground so much. And we'll get it connected there. Alright. So there's that. And the route will be again from here to here to here. Done. Next one will be. Oh, come on. That little thing there just really wants to cut through the ground because of that. Alright. So from there to there. Okay, now what I need is station that passes through. I'm going to reroute this road. So let's bulldoze this, 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 this. And we're going to go this way. This, oop, no, no, no. We don't want to do that. No, no, no. This way. This way. There we go. Beautiful. Looks like a winner. I'm going to bulldoze this, 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 all this that I added. Yes, I'm aware. Undoing all my work. Go away. Oh, you know what? I just realized I got the sound back up, don't I? Do I? No. Man, it just sounds really loud. Okay. Uh, bulldoze, 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 bulldoze. Ta-da, you're done. Okay.
So, back to the track, and we'll come up this way. And I'm going to place the station number one, freight station, 320. Whoa, went a little far there. We're going to go... This is the one that's going to just go up and come back. So I'm going to go this side and that side. So, yep, probably don't need a 320, but we're going to do one anyways. Okay, so we'll go there. And then we're going to go uh, we'll go right about there. So let's connect the road to it and make sure that it works. Voila. Turn off the road. Click on that. Yes, indeed. Looking pretty. And we're going to set up a road. And you're thinking, man, that's a short little run. Yes, it is. There, 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 there. You think, oh boy. But uh, we'll see how it works. You know, I mean, we'll try it out here, right? Okay, so there, and then from there to there. Done. And I could have made this a, uh, a, a different one, actually. A terminus one, it would look better. But I can leave that just in case. Just in case I wind up doing something crazy again. But right now, I don't think I'm going to do that. So let's check our line from here to there to there through there back to here. Then repeat, right? Okay, so let's go. All right, new line. This is going to be the fuel line. So we're going to go from here to here to there to here. Oh, I guess I don't have to put the last one in there, do I? So he'll go through. So we're going to rename these here in just a second. Let's go ahead and rename those. Okay. And this station is going to be... Uh, oil well 1. This will be... Let's see. Oil refinery slash fuel. Now this is going to be the one issue I'm going to have using the multiple wagon. I have to force this thing to ship fuel. I think the way I'm going to have to do that is put a very, very small train on this line that runs only fuel cars so that eventually it starts to figure out that I want fuel. Once that starts, then I can run the bigger train to run the fuel on the, uh, on the loop. Okay, so we're going to do the, that's going to be crude oil slash fuel short so that's the that's the short line okay new line we're gonna go with some sort of a green or yellow let's go to yellow okay from here to there and back but we're going to add a waypoint because it is a bigger line I'm going to want to um, have this thing run in a circle. Add station here. And there we go. So now it's running the way I want it to. That's a longer path than it really needs to be. But again, because I want to put, because this is a longer loop, I want to be able to put probably two trains on that eventually. One good size one might do this. If not, we'll have to add uh, the circle. And I, Oh, that's right. I wanted to add the circle anyways. That's why I did that, isn't it? Yep. I want the circle because of having multiple trains. So let's add the circle. And let me get rid of this for a second. We're going to come out of here. Okay. Go there. Boy, I would just come right next to this one over here. Ooh, expensive cutting through that. There we go. And I run right next to this guy. Look at that. There we go. A little bit of a hump, a little bit of a weird looking thing there, but that's alright. We'll have you come right on down here. And there we go. That way you two can run parallel over the road. You'll have a little bit of a bump where he doesn't. Well, it should be alright because that's already leveled out. Okay. 
go ahead and come on down here. Then what we'll do. Oh, I got the new vehicle there. Now we'll have this is gonna be the only one that's gonna do this. So a little bit of a turn there. Yes, and then we're gonna have it go up along the line here. Yes. So that I mean it'll be minimal delay, you know, minimal. And just have you come right down here. Yes, I think I got a gap there, I do. Okay, so that will be a minimal delay. And let's put a waypoint on here. There we go. And we're gonna have to put a stop sign here. And let's go back to our fuel line. Uh, where are we? Uh, fuel short. So after oil well, after oil refinery, add the station. And we'll add that guy. And there we go. So that way I can have more than just one, one train running on each of those lines and it'll be okay. So we're going to go in that way and we're going to go that way and then we'll see them running next to each other. That will be cool. And then what we'll have is a new line and we're going to say, uh, let's go with blue and this will be cargo. F, which is going to be this way on the clock, forward on the clock. So we're going to add station. Oop, we're going to add station here, here, and the first thing it should be doing is no, no, no. you should be on this one. I, I think it'll work that out. Let me work that out in a minute. There, there. Okay, New Orleans, St. Paul, or Westminster, I mean, uh, El Paso, and Birmingham. Now that should, yep, okay, so that put me on that line, and that line. There we go. I figured it might work itself out. So what I want to do, I just want to make sure, so we're blue, blue, yep. All the way around, we should be on the right. I just again, I'm just gonna make sure we're not crossing over the orange anywhere. No hiccups, everything's looking good. Because sometimes this game will do something silly, man. It'll bounce you, and and you're off on some other track, and you're thinking, what in the world happened? And then you got trains that are stuck, and your well laid out plans have gone to kaput. And I don't want my plans to go to kaput. So, all right, and then you come in there. Beautiful. So that's gonna be line one, going that way. That's going to be cargo forward, and I, I guess I didn't need this one, but it's going to want two different ones. So we'll just put cargo F um, one, okay? And then I'm going to do new line again. Going to be blue, right? Add station, Oop. add station here, here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to make this one blue. I'll make this one white. So I can hopefully see it over the orange. Then this one. Ooh, getting a little laggy there. Let's see. Westminster. New Orleans. Okay, St. Paul. And there, and let's see how it did. So, so far so good. Yep, it should come back in there. And that should be yep, on that line, on that line. Everything's looking good. Yep, so everything's good so far. Yep, yep, yep. And I'll have to use waypoints to get it to use the other station uh, because one is going to have box cars and one is going to have fuel tankers. So you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff going on this line here. 
it should be able to handle it though. I mean, there's enough signaling. And again, I'm just going through making sure no surprises. Everything's lined up the way it's supposed to line up. No issues. Okay. So everything looks good. And we're looking good. All right. So we're going to make that cargo R. And I can change that. I might make that food. Let's you know what? Let's do this. Food Oops. R. And I'll change the other one to food F. Okay. Food F. Now what I'll do is I'll make fuel. So I need a waypoint going out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some waypoints here. Waypoint. Okay, waypoint there. I'm going to need a waypoint. Uh, let's see, going out, I'll need a waypoint there. And I think that should do it. And this is going to be, uh, let's go, fuel, uh, forward. Okay, fuel forward. And I'm going to make this one kind of like a light pinkish red. Actually, I'm going to make this one red. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off so I can just see. So add station from here. Let me turn that back on just real fast. Yep. Yeah, that's the way I want to go. Then here. And then we want to head down here. Let's see. Does it do it? Yep. Looking good. Okay. Then here. Should be on the right hand side. Then here. And here, here, and here. And that should theoretically come back. There we go. Beautiful. Fuel forward. And it's always on the right hand side. I didn't see any issues. I'll just run over here and double check. On the right hand side. And we'll just double check over here. It's on the right hand side. Okay. So that one's done. Now let's make new line and we'll call this one fuel reverse and let's make fuel reverse the dark dark sinister red and we'll turn that off and so it needs to go from here to here then there and it should immediately go on the outside line there we go Waypoints are your friend, by the way. Waypoints are very good. Oh, I must have clicked the wrong kind of station. Yep, let me get rid of you. And instead, click you. There we go. Uh, waypoints are your friends. They allow you to do all kinds of fun stuff. And then we'll click on you. And then you. And that should return you there. Okay. We are now set. If we look at our lines, we have lines coming and going. They are mixing and doing exactly what we want them to do out here. We have lines coming and going there. Whew. We have 11.2 million in the bank. It's time to put this in motion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here, and then I'm going to... Yes, I know. Anticipation. You're like, what? What are you going to end it here? You have to wait for the next episode in order to see the trains actually start running. All right, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, look at the profits. We're a little bit down here because of construction and so forth, but look at the profits. Looking good. All right, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next episode.